Hey guys, this is AskLogLog once again. I'm here to do an unboxing and kind of an overview of the Airport Express. Now I already have the time capsule that I'm about to set up on, yes, my new Mac. I did buy an Apple computer. Um, just because I'm doing more and more video editing and I like iMovie versus other paid software because I'm cheap and this is just a hobby. So, we'll get into it. Of course, like all my other videos, I'm one-handed because I've not bought a tripod for my iPhone. Um, so if you guys know of a good one, let me know. So I've cut the wrapper off of this. So that'll pop out. Of course, it was designed in California by Apple, just like everything else that Apple makes. We will open it up, kind of like the old... Um, iPod Nano or Mini. The iPod Mini did. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Let's see if I can get this out. Ouch. Really, Apple? You're going to do that to me? Okay, well, I'm going to turn upside down. No? I'm not going to go that way either. Alright. Well, then it looks like I'm going to have to fiddle with the software then. So, let's open it here at the bottom. It will, of course, come with the install CD to give PC users um, the airport utility that Apple already is generously enough to give you. Do the little strap. So you get your disc, you get a setup guide, which is a pretty hefty book. I don't know why, because it's really easy. Oh, I'm actually going to stick to this page for later. Regulatory certification. Sure. Apple warranty. And that. So, the Airport Express, guys, is kind of like a wireless access point which you guys probably already know, which is why you're looking at this video. Um, the nice part about it is, if I'm lucky with enough, aha, I win. There's a wireless access point that will also act as a range extender. It will also connect a non-Ethernet device to wireless or take an Ethernet hardwire and create again that small wireless access point. Kind of cool. It also has a USB port for printers. I believe with the new firmware you can hook up a hard drive for Time Machine. For Macs only. And the coolest part, which is why I bought it, is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. I know it sounds really stupid. I bought it for a an audio jack, but what that is going to allow you to do, I almost dropped my phone, guys, is wirelessly transmit your iTunes music to a set of powered speakers through, say, a receiver, or computer speakers, whatever. It will play it wirelessly from your laptop, your desktop, your iPhone, your iPad, whichever. Very cool, very fun. Same idea as the Apple TV, kind of, but it just gives you a little bit more functionality, but does take away the video capabilities. So, of course, it just will plug into the wall. You'll do your setup real easy. Now, I did want to touch over some points, some specifics. It is wireless in, 
2.4 and 5 gigahertz based on Apple's website. It will be backwards compatible to G, B and A, so every type of wireless has commonly used and some not so common. Um, you will want to check on your Mac or PC and see what the um, what the wireless card is in, in it uh, because it's not a dual band wireless access point. That's why you would want to get an extreme. It's for multiple multiple uses. Um, so the way to check on your Mac to see what what you have is going to be if you go in to your spotlight let's see where am I, there I am and just type in uh, network utility click that that will bring you to this guy here what you will want to do is go to EN1 Airport, which is by default. And I will show you your IP, which I'll cover up. Your link speed, which is really cool. Uh, this is based off of a Netgear N300, so it's, I mean, it's not even the N600, but not bad. And what you have for your wireless. If you have a two thousand mid-2009 or newer MacBook, that has G with a core to duo you can do a firmware upgrade for a dollar to get in well well worth it um, just kinda wanted you guys to see that I would set it up and I may do that when I set up the extreme in the same video I don't know but it's very very easy um, I've set up multiple already at friends houses um, and they're the easiest thing I've ever had to do ever to make you look like you know what you're doing um, but pretty cool I'll be installing it soon Mac users you don't have to do this PC users do it it'll make your life easy um, hopefully I'll do a review pretty soon thanks guys